The main target position to really reinforce in the summer for United has always been a right back. And obviously, Fabrizio Romano is going to have to give us a very interesting update on who United is really looking at to come out and really replace the player. Sorry, to come out and back up and act as a backup or a competitor with Diego Delo at Old Trafford. That means Demo Freeze and Frimpong. We're going to talk about their possibility of one of them to join United in the general transfer window. We are talking about a third fixture that United wants to really include in their friendlies they are going to play before they play Burnley and Nottingham Forest. Then we are talking about Cody Gapko and obviously Fabrizio Romano has a very huge update as far as Cody Gapko to Manchester United is concerned. Welcome to this channel. First video of the day. I really had to give the other video some ample time to go out and really get vid because I don't want to pump you a lot of content, but I believe today we are going to stabilize and really get perfect timing of really getting your content like at lunchtime, then late in the evening, and maybe at around 9 p.m., depending on where you're watching us from. Rock and David is my name. United Matters channel is the YouTube channel you're watching us on. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we are left with like 800 subscribers to hit 1,000 subscribers. And I know, guys, we can hit it. And I believe that today we can hit 9,200 subscribers as the day comes to an end. So guys, keep it this channel and don't go anywhere because this is the channel that brings you latest news information as far as your celebrities, sorry, your United news is really concerned. I had gone into the entertainment news. You know, I have an entertainment channel that really does entertainment news now. Fabrizio Romano today via the court of side website has really come out and really said lots of things as far as Manchester United is concerned. And one of those said that, a moment, all right, as you see it on the screen, that's what Fabrizio Romano came out and said. <laughs> he said, it's looking possible for Aaron Bissaka to leave as Manchester United have been very clear. They want to find a solution for him. Options at right back could be Jeremy Frimpong and Denzel Demofries. For Aaron Bissaka, it's like me watching a history channel or an adventure channel because they keep, they keep, they keep repeating the same content in there for you. Aaron Bissaka is a player that Eric Ten Hag never, never liked, even during. Even during the preseason, he never gave him lots of games because he believed he's not that kind of player with a skill set and talent to play under his system and philosophy. So what he did, he told the board, I want another right back who can fit my system. The board told him, you're going to bear with Aaron Bissaka. What Ten Hag did was to play Aaron Bissaka only eight minutes in the entire 14 games, all 20 games we played. I think they're like 21 games we played this season. 14 in the Premier League, 6 in the UEFA Europa League, 1 game in the Carabao Cup, 21 games over how many minutes? Over how many minutes? Times 90. Almost 2,000 minutes. Arman Bissaka only played 8 minutes in the game of Liverpool. The reason as to why he came on through was that Diego Delo had gotten a yellow card and it was a very critical moment and he would have really gotten a red card maybe and the manager said, all right, Aaron Bissaka go and play some eight minutes. Ever since then, he has never stepped on the field of play to play for Manchester United. So he has already shown the board that I no longer need Aaron Bissaka. We are into for this American right back who was playing at Barcelona and loaned to a similar with an option to buy. That is Seguino Dest. And we didn't go in for him because the board said they didn't have enough money to spend on him. Yet the player was available on loan because they thought that maybe the manager would go on and really get pleased by Arwan Bissaka. But Ten Hag is not pleased at all. Though he traveled with Arwan Bissaka in the warm weather training camp in Spain. But he is not having him in his plan. So he's telling us that United are going in for either Jeremy Frimpong and Denzel Demefries. Jeremy Frimpong plays for plays in the Bundesliga. He plays as a right back, but Denzel Demefries is the guy to go on and really sign. If at all, I would 
I would come out and recommend a player to be signed that position. It is Denzel Demafries to come out and also eat out with with um, with Diego Dello. The more you get a player of a talent of Demafries and add him onto add him onto add him onto Diego Dello, it would be a very perfect, 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 perfect signing for United. Competition will be stiff. That means you'll be getting the best of all these players and they'll be they'll be fighting for that position and obviously we'll be getting better and better but Denzel Demafries is proven onto the world market I know you've seen him play for Inter Milan <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> saliva had choked me I'm sorry about it Denzel Demafries is a player who has been playing who has been playing for Inter Milan? He's playing for the Dutch national team. Most of you got to know a lot about him in the Euros when he came out and really played very well. He was playing in in the LDVZ, and that's where Inter Milan got him. It's not the very first time we've been linked to Denzel Demerfries. Even when he was crossing from the LDVZ to Inter Milan, United were having a go at him, but they couldn't really meet what he really wanted and obviously united lost the battle to inter milan now if you saw him play against usa he put up two assists and scored one goal that is denzel demafries and he's a proven right back he's a flying right back that eric ten Hag would have loved to bring at Manchester united but there is there is a question that he needs to answer whether he needs a player to come on and really overtake Diego Delort all he needs a player who is going to come in and deputize or act as act as he's called a backup for Diego Delo in there for you so I believe for Eric Ten Hag over March he's looking at Denzel Demafries he might be liking him but according to the budget that unit is going to be having in the January transfer window I believe we can't raise the amount of money that that um that an Inter Milan would go on and really beg for this player secondly we are knocked out sorry we are not in the Champions League Inter Milan have gone ahead to proceed or progress to the next round of the Champions League that is the round of 16 so can Demafries for a go his Champions League his Champions League levels to come out and play for Manchester United that is a very very big question that deserves a very honest answer and to me I believe no however much United are looking at Denzel Demafries as an option to join them maybe Denzel Demafries would love to go on and accomplish this season and maybe think of quitting it's Inter Milan in the summer that's it thirdly the amount of money like 40 million pounds will be needed for him united can't spend 40 million pounds on the right back who's going to come out and be act as a backup they would rather go on and spend 40 million pounds on a player who's going to come up and lead the line or be a center forward because ronaldo has departed so the most realistic realistic position now for united is a center forward and then a right back because for the center forward they're only having one in the names of Anton martial as the right back he can find out others to come in and play the local brandon williams but for the center forward it's only anton martial and maybe rashford can come in through but two players are needed this general transfer window and united are weighing in options to either they really fulfill those options now if you take off desert demo freeze from from the picture that means jeremy frimpong is the player that is left into the picture obviously United can get him on a cheap. I think he's left with one year on his contract, meaning that in January they can really pay peanuts to get him at Manchester United. That will act like a charm for the Glazers and Eric Ten Hag. Secondly, he's not this kind of player who's going to come in through and really pester the manager to be getting playing time game in, game out. So he's a one of the players that is really great a dutch player ten Hag believes in them and loves what they put out on the field of play so i believe jeremy frimpong might be the realistic signing that united could go in for because ten Hag believes that diego dallo is his first choice but he needs another backup player who can come on and do the needful to really to really dislodge him or come up and represent for united whenever diego dello is rotated or when he's suspended like when you're playing a team 
like when I'm playing a game of Fulham, we missed out on the law because he had accumulated five yellow cards. They brought in Malasia to play as a right back. So if at all Fribon was there, he would have gone ahead and played as a right back for Manchester United. And you never know if at all Fribon was there, Diego Delo wouldn't have accumulated those five yellow cards because the manager would have rotated him and rested him in some Premier League games. But because he had no option to rest, so he had to be playing him game in, game out. So Fabrizio Romano continued to let us know that Frimpong would be really keen to join to join the Premier League football, but no direct negotiations, just internal negotiations at the club to decide on the situation with the right back. So United is really discussing on which right back to come on and really go for. I believe Ten Hag is going to go on and say, let's go for Frimpong because he's the easily accessible player. That's it. For for Demo Freeze, I believe it's hard. It's hard because Inter Milan will call in for a lot of money. But for Frim Pong, but for Frim Pong, he's really a very good player. Dutch, he's at the World Cup also. There has not yet really played any game. 21 years of age. Obviously, there is an age bracket of like of like three or three or two years with Diego Dello, that really makes it a very good, good competition for these players because that means we're having them for the future and he plays for Bayern Liverpool and that's where he plays. And obviously he's really having a very good, good season there because he's really great, especially going forward. Let me check, transfer market, Jeremy Frimpong, Jeremy Frimpong. Jeremy Frimpong, the transfer market is showing us that this player, his contract expires in in 2025. Not so. His contract is expiring in 2025, meaning that he's left with two and a half years on his contract. So I believe business can be done. And I think at like 15 million pounds, we can get this kind of player. Ten Hag is a kind of manager who has shown us that these things are possible of getting in players who are really not at that level of being sold at a hefty price. Look at Tarell Malasia coming in at 15 million euros, but he's really playing football at the elite level. So that means he can get everything done and that's it now after the right backs then he went ahead to talk about fabricio romano via his his youtube channel about Manchester united internally in the next weeks will decide whether they want to sign a new striker in january if it's a short term option or they will invest in an important striker obviously no way i would go in and say that we should go in and go in for a patch or a short term because we've always gone in for short term strikers and they've really costed us why not go out ahead and bring in strikers because look at Edson Cavani we got him on a free he was earning 200,000 pounds a week a month almost 1 million pound meaning that in every year he was earning close to 12 million pounds close to 30 million pounds was spent all 40 million pounds was spent on his stake at Manchester United being an injury prone player we less benefited out of him that puts us in the situation of being a very desperate club to go in for desperate signings. I don't want to see United going in for desperate signings. I'd rather be like Arsenal, like how they did in January this year. They said we are going to go in for an elite striker who is young, fulfills, all, fulfi all fits into the project that we are building other than going in for a striker that is not going to fit the project. If we are going in for a patch, all a short-term striker, all option, we rather not go in for anyone. According to me, we rather bring in a striker in the summer. Let's utilize Marcus Rashford. Let's utilize Anton Martial. And let's see Sancho and Alejandro Ganacho play as the left attacking midfielders for the club until we reach the summer and really make a very important, important, and really make a very important signing for the club. But there is something that the Glazers can't undermine. They want to sell this club. It's on market. The best way to go out and sell it is to see to it that it's in the region of reaching the Champions League. And to cement it, after the departure of Ronaldo, you have to bring in a very, very, very 
profile or talented center forward that is going to enlighten the chances of United to go into the Champions League. That's why likes of Cody Gapko, Jao Felix, deals to United are really possible in January. And we might go out to break the record in January and spend another a hundred million pounds in January. Reason being United are going to be sold. Glazers knowing that they're leaving, spending a hundred million pounds in January to reinforce their 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 six to seven billion call for the sale of United is nothing for them because they'll know that if we add in one million pounds, one million, one million pound players to Manchester United in January, they will be really in a better bargaining power with the new person to come and really do the takeover. So I believe that a striker is going to come in through, but I don't want a short-term striker. And I believe Ten Hag won't allow that. He doesn't want short-term signings because they were available and he said no to them. And United are good at going in for such players, but Ten Hag is not that kind of player. Now, you all know that United are really having friendlies with Rio Betis and Cadiz. I think... On Wednesday, we are going to play a game. I think we are playing Cadiz. Then later, we are going to play Rio Betis, I think, on Saturday. And they are planning to add on another game of football as United is preparing for the games. They are going to play against a team which goes by the names of Burnley in the Carabao Cup and Nottingham Forest in the Premier League. Now, Samuel Lucas has confirmed to us that United are aiming to hold another friendly before their domestic season resumes later this month. United are keen for a behind close <gasps> sorry. United are keen for a behind closed doors game with a football league team. So they are wanting to, they are wanting to get another team from the football league team to see to it that they really see themselves into what they are going to do in their next games of football. So let's wait and see what team is going to be played by United after playing those two games in Spain. But go in the comment section. Tell me what you think about Dema Freeze transfer to Manchester United. Do you want Dema Freeze or Frimpong? Who do you want? You get, according to me, I believe Frimpong is the more realistic signing that United can go all out and get because I don't believe Dema Freeze is a variable for sale by Inter Milan and if at all is not a variable for sale that calls in for a team to go out and break the bank to see to either they convince the team to sell and gate the player on a very huge salary to get him onto your club so that becomes hard for Manchester United and obviously what are your thoughts on United going in or out for a striker who is important in the summer or to go out for a patch signing like a desperate signing like the Cavani's a gallows in the January transfer window. Thank you guys for watching in through a sign out for now. See you later. May the Almighty Lord bless you abundantly. I'm out.